Well, let's get into our next topic. Uh, I think, Alex, this one was yours um, concerning Activision getting some security breaches. Can you update us on right. that? Yeah, so recently Activision, um, all over Twitter, people were saying that like 500,000 Activision accounts got hacked um, and it was like going on for a while. But then recently Activision like responded to it and said it's not real. Um, but even though it was like, you know, it was just like a rumor, it still kind of points like a valid like uh like thing that we should be concerned about in general since everything is going into virtual like we can literally like download our games literally have like cloud gaming like all of our information everything not just our gaming is all online it kind of makes you wonder like how safe are we really you know like like yeah. how close are we to just like losing everything because i mean for all we know it probably it could have been real and they're just like no, it's not real. Don't worry about it. Because they don't want to see, you know. They wouldn't say it's real. Of course, right. They're not going to say, yeah, we may or may not have lost half a million accounts. <laughs> They're not going to say that. <laughs> Maybe it say, yeah, it wasn't half a million. It was actually more like 492,000. But so don't oh, worry yeah. about it. <laughs> That's, yeah. Still bigger, than the, still bigger than the E3 leak that happened like two years ago where they released all the journalists personal addresses, oh, phone numbers, yeah. emails, like. See, exactly. With like all of our information just constantly like being on the internet, mm -hmm. how, like how safe are we really? You're just not safe. Actually, yeah, yeah you, you can't say you're really safe because Activision tweeted just saying like, it's not our fault, just do better to protect your accounts mm -hmm. and can we expect that from a company? We already have Facebook selling our info. And now if you can't even play games with that feeling at least a bit safe, it's like, okay, you got packed. Well, deal with it. And I don't think it's fair play, you know, when it's like that. Have they shared what kind of information could have leaked? Like, are we talking about um, like payment information, all that? Yeah, Probably. yeah, it could be uh, pretty much anything in your account and even like onto like your Steam and uh, PlayStation, and Xbox, yeah. anything you could play Call of Duty on, basically. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, the, well, I, these aren't really new things in terms of security. Like I remember World of Warcraft was known um, back in the day for having so much like so many um, security hacks, like credit mm -hmm. cards were just getting stolen left and right. And then where people would just steal your account, sell it on eBay. And um, it became like such a high profile issue. Now, if you have an account with World of Warcraft or with any Blizzard, actually, I just realized Blizzard Activision, same company now, but oh, I yeah. <laughs> I find yeah. hey, wait. So yeah, yeah maybe, maybe they didn't figure out their problems <laughs> after all, but I felt like Blizzard, Oh, now I, now I feel dumb because it's the same company. But Blizzard, <laughs> I felt, was doing good like uh, steps. Like, if you want to log into a Blizzard game, you need your phone, you need an authenticator, you need so oh, many yeah. things just to get into your account, just to play some some WoW. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Activision didn't like take all that security tech and <laughs> carry it over to their oh. other games. I don't know, because it's not through Battle.net. They didn't mention a Battle.net breach. Otherwise, all Overwatch players, Hearthstone players, Heroes of the Storm, World of Warcraft, everyone would be affected. Mm -hmm. And the issue here is more like you can link your Activision account, your Call of Duty account to many platforms. And when World of Warcraft was hacked, all you lose, well, can, can be a lot, but it was more likely your stuff, your gold, whatever, your, your account. But now we link one account to many games, to many things. You have your Steam account with, I don't know how many games in it, skins yeah. maybe, credit cards. Yeah. You have your whole life on Steam, let's be real. Mm -hmm. What would you do without your Steam account? So if someone can get this information and use it for, I don't know what purpose, it's not the same as just losing in-game money. We're talking mm -hmm. about your purchasing a bit. Your, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Steam is another great example of, I, I feel there's more security for me to get into my Steam account than my bank account. 
Like it's sometimes it's so hard. <laughs> if, if, if you if you try to log in from a new computer, they're like, we sent a code to your email. What's your phone number? And what's your like five generations of your family hierarchy legacy so that we can identify <laughs> you? And please and also take a picture of all of your like fingerprints so that we can. <laughs> and um, they're still gonna block you afterwards, so you can trade for a week. Yeah, they're like, oh no, you <laughs> left out an S on the word. You're you're gone. So yeah. I feel that's one extreme on Steam and how do you guys feel like do you guys actually feel more secure that way do you guys want to log in to all of the like every time you want to go I feel gaming has become already there's so many barriers already when you have that impulse to play something and then it's like well is there a patch yeah. do you have to update the system do you have to update the game and then yeah. once you get all that out of the way it's like well do you have the credentials you need to get into the platform do you have uh, two-factor authentication and then if you want to stream just you know take that in and times it by I want four. it all <laughs> you want you want that care. security I don't care if it's like one of those scenes of me like walking into a secret facility and there's like 40 <laughs> different doors, all right, that, that all function differently in terms of how I get through them. As long as it's keeping my stuff secure, I'll go through the steps. Even if I'm frustrated about it, even if it's annoying, if it keeps some people out from trying to get into whether it's my Steam account, whether it's, you know, my Activision account, whether it's this or that or the other, mm -hmm. then... I'm all for it. You know, any bit of extra security to, to keep that stuff secure is good with me. You know, like it's fine by me. Just have you ever had a security? Have you ever been like uh, caught in a security breach where, you know, some of your stuff was stolen or lost or. Luckily, I've been good so far. You better knock on wood. Yeah. Knock uh, on wood. I've been robbed from all the work <laughs> that uh, I haven't, I don't experience anything like that. Cause see, I, I have not. So maybe I'm thinking maybe I'm just more like my defenses are down. I think it once it happens once, maybe you are like, yeah, bring it on. Give me all this trouble. But I find when you play on multiple consoles, platforms, you know, even on PC now, you have the Epic Game Store, you have Steam, you have all these stores. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. all like how many apps on your phone are just authenticators or um, That's true. it, it kind of gets to be a lot. But I do feel right. at the same time, more and more platforms are diverging to, oh, you just get the text message. Like, um, but I, I don't know. I feel that we're on the fence of, of being in, in a bit of a world of like silliness of everything from, yeah. okay, so here's another level of complication. Let's say you forget a password to your game thing and then it goes to an email and it's all because you're on a new platform, but then the email's like, well, we need to make sure you're valid and secure. And then they need to do two F like two, two, um, whatever the word is. Two factor, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is it just two FA? They're, yeah. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna uh, make a third factor, and it's gonna be just like scanning your face or something. <laughs> well, it would yeah. be easier. Because, yeah. yeah be... <laughs> That's how you unlock like your iPhones now. So just do that. <laughs> yeah, and but sometimes you don't want deep to take. Fix. Fix. Yeah, deep fakes too. Yeah, that's that's a whole other problem with technology. That's, <laughs> that's a black mirror like episode right there. Fake, you know? I mean, speaking of Black Mirror, there, I uh, I don't know if I read this somewhere or someone told me that there could be like technology in the future where all of our info, like passwords, like keys to get into the house or get into the car could be like put in like a chip inside of you. Yeah. yeah. And you just like boop, 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 you know, Honestly, like your wallet yeah. and everything, your passport. Can you I'm just getting, getting closer hacked? and closer <laughs> to Black Mirror. Like Yes. Well, that's yeah. oh boy, we could really open the doors on this one. I mean, technology <laughs> is is a two side. It's a it, there, there's always as Black Mirror has shown, there's always a good and a bad side to technology. Right, for sure. So I think it's it's always going to be an issue. It's always it's just going to get harder as our technology evolves. Personally, mm -hmm. as yeah, someone, we have cloud gaming now too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. We're getting there. I don't How like is that. it in the clouds? Everything in the cloud. You can't give me that transitional topic, Alex, this early. No. I, I need it later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take it back. Okay. Bring it back okay, in like later. 20 minutes. And then that's how okay. we transition to Amazon. Um, oh, now I want to talk about that. I'm I'm like cool like with the, the whole chip thing as someone who's like into tech. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Like it's, it's no different than carrying your phone anywhere except for the pain of getting a chip inside you. But I can see how it could get abused and the issues with it. <laughs> But yeah, what it's, it's... what's the point of, of having a chip if you have it on your phone? Convenience. Like, you can't call with your chip. You won't be like, hey, I mean, 
So you're still going to need your phone right now, at least. Maybe, I hope so. One day we won't need them, but right now you do. So why would you get a chip? Yeah. What if yeah. the chip also becomes your phone? And then when you when someone's calling you, it's just on your, you know, you can just ping it like, hello. <laughs> or just snap your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they're so. just speaking into your brain. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. You just like hit your temple twice and you're like, oh, hello. I like put some, no. I don't know, some hologram. Oh my God, that was so weird. I did see, I don't know if this is true anymore. This is like a random memory, but I think there was, they were experimenting with like having, maybe it was a design imprint into your hand that you could basically like do calls by doing like special gestures or something. I don't know, look at minority report. You can use a whole like computer just by through gestures. <laughs> You're not about that, are you, Aaron? No, not at all. <laughs> Bring what on is all the group called? When like technology is evolving like faster than humans are, isn't there like a yeah. term for it? The uh, singularity. Yeah. That that's when technology becomes more sentient Better. than us. I think eventually oh, realizes okay. we're so inefficient we don't deserve to live. Yeah, true. And then yeah. It tries to wipe us out. Well, this is where <laughs> it starts. <laughs> it's like five It'd be years. nice to your Alex. It's like that five corrupts years your away. entire body and then takes over you. Yeah. We're like five years away from that. It's not too far. Whoa! <laughs> on that note, how about we take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> Let's end on the dark note. All right, we'll be right back with our other two topics, guys. Just hang tight.